So I've had a bit of a gripe with Frontier Airlines. I've had a, I've had a tiff with Frontier Airlines for a while. So I never book them. I only ever fly Frontier if somebody books my flight for me. Flying United, I thought maybe be a little more high end. Maybe I would, uh, you know, have a little bit of a better time. It's just fancier Frontier, it turns out. finally in the hotel room after a long day of traveling. I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning, Ubered to the airport, uh, flew to Houston, then flew from Houston to Orlando. And now we're here at the Spring Hill Suites. I haven't seen this hotel room yet. I started recording as soon as I entered in. I just literally put my bag and my water down. So first we got a nice little bar area here with, uh, oh shoot, oh snap, they got a little refrigerated glasses down there. Come over here, I actually really like this, like this little dedicated work nook. I have never thought I would say nook. Kind of an underwhelming TV. And one thing I'm always looking for whenever I get into a hotel, uh, if I can find it. I just want to see if I can find it. Powered by the Gideons or provided, placed by the Gideons, the Holy Bible. We'll ignore that other book in there. Man, nice full length mirror, man. This is kind of nice. Ooh, snap this bathroom though. Where's the light? Look at this. What am I in a L'Oreal commercial? But yeah, tomorrow is the IBJJF Pan American Championship. So I'll be commentating that alongside my good buddy, Danny O'Donnell. I'm gonna relax a little bit. I gotta go do a workout downstairs. Gotta do that every day. Fitness. <sighs> so I saw this. Post by Alex Sterner of Electric Performance. You guys can go follow him. He said, a good way to test if you have good cardio is if you can do a thousand meters on a row machine in under four minutes. I guess my cardio is not as bad as I thought because I did it. In like three minutes, 50 seconds, I got that thousand. I, I had to stop halfway through and I'm breathing really heavy. It was, it was a sprint. I could not do it comfortably, but I am happy that I did it. But with that, I'm probably gonna have to door dash some food here in a second, take a shower and Get ready for IBJJF Pan Ams tomorrow. I plan on making a vlog the entire time. I'm really gonna try this time. And if you're watching this video, it means that I didn't suck at it. <laughs> all right, well, now that I'm all ready, uh, 10.30 is our call time. It is currently not that time. I forgot to set my watch to Florida time, but I think we got like an hour or an hour and a half. We actually have an hour and a half. It's like 9 a.m. right now. So I'm gonna eat some breakfast and uh, I gotta take my computer with me and all that, but yep, time to do some Pan Ams. Danny O'Donnell on the mic, Best ladies and gentlemen. Best hair in jujitsu. Right there, that guy. Take a good look. Take a gander. I made one joke in Portuguese. Now he's self-conscious. Well, Danny, it was a great day. You're very welcome. <laughs> oh, I thought that was so wholesome. Now the work is done. About to get a bowl of, bowl of good old Akai. <laughs> All right, Danny. Today was a great first day of commentating alongside you. What did you think of today? Today was awesome. Gilbert Pereira makes it to another open class final. Gabriela Pisania makes it to her 11th straight open class final. Mika Galval, Andy Marisaki, Diego Pato, 
had some great matches, Jake. Danny, as you guys know, Danny and I had the open guard cast together. Danny has been absolutely killing it as a journalist in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's been working with the IBJJF now, has a full time career with them, and he has just been doing so great. And so being able to commentate these events with him is a huge blessing to me. But it's definitely good to be, uh, be at PAMS with you, Danny, down here in Orlando, Florida. Who would have thought? I love PAMS. PAMS is know. the first tournament I commentated in 2023. Um, and yeah, it's been awesome. I love and since then, we've taken over the game, dude. So back in the hotel room now, just watching the UFC here, letting my stomach settle down. I just had a chicken salad with double chicken, of course. But anyway, get some more film tomorrow, so. Time to wake up. When you work darn hard with the fine gentlemen of Flow Grappling, That's right. I'm not gonna get Corey eating his sandwich. Corey, Corey just shimmy yeah, away from me. Not gonna there. get a video of Corey eating it. You know what? He flexed. That's are extreme. you being? Are you being? What is this? Are you an engineer? You're MacGyvering my shoe? Exactly. Why don't you just I'm tape it around? Create... Like, why don't you just do a Marillo Santana oh, and just tape it all the way around? around? Man, my man did me right. <laughs> I'm throwing oh, these away. Bro. I'm throwing these away completely. after we're done. But he did me right. Now I can put these on and clip clop back around. Yeah, I'm, we're, hey, this tape is gonna hold. This is 300 mile per hour tape right here. Let's go. Kyle! You ready for finals? Yes, I What about you, Seamus? All right, cool. Well, you got calm down, guys. Back in the hotel, done with the IBJJF Pan Championship. Doing my best to continue to make content. Uh, I think I did pretty okay on this vlog. We're gonna see, I'm gonna edit it, put it all together. Once I get to this point, you guys will know that it actually went pretty okay. So you guys can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, at Jake Watson Media. I am constantly posting stuff. Go to disciplebjj.com and see all the different stuff I got going on there, but I am done making content for the weekend. I'm gonna edit this, I'm gonna post it, and let me know what you think. I'm excited to keep on making stuff. Today was an awesome day of matches, those of you guys who followed along on Flow Graveling. I'm sure you're gonna see the YouTube replays when they post them. Thank you so much, God bless you, and I'll see you next time.